Pushing back the bulldozers, hundreds of American Indian protesters managed to halt construction of an oil pipeline in North Dakota. I fought for this country. So these assholes could do this to our land. Now it's my time to fight for my, my people. The Sioux of Standing Rock claim the crew dug up and destroyed sacred burial grounds near their reservation, even after the pipeline developer had voluntarily paused construction in the disputed area. They'd already filed a suit against the pipeline's proposed route on cultural grounds, but also environmental ones. This is the Cannonball River. And this flows into the Missouri River, which is just over there. Pipes always break. It will break. And within about 10 minutes, it'll be to our freshwater intake for the tribe. In this makeshift camp, the nerve center of the protest, dozens of Native American tribes are uniting to support the Sioux of North Dakota. Navajos, Apaches, Iroquois, this is an unprecedented gathering of former rivals. They've all felt this pain. They've all felt the misery that comes with big business and corporations invading our lands and taking the little bit of resources we have, whether that be, whether that be water or whether that be timber or minerals. They've all felt that in their own homelands. The tribe is locked in a court battle to force a diversion of the pipeline. In the meantime, protesters are here to stay, protecting their land from any further destruction. Hey,